What's up guys, my name is Dominic and welcome to the Reviewer Executioner Corner. Today's review is on the pistol locking system. So this isn't really just like, you know, a gun safe of some sort. This is realistically something that you put around the trigger part of your pistol. Um, this is really more for um, if you do have your pistol out and about or if you want to take special precautions um, in case someone touches it or does get access to it. Um, this will prevent the gun from uh, even being fired. So um, if you have kids around, you know, maybe you just don't want anyone realistically taking it and doing anything with it in harm's way. Um, this is probably for you. Um, so this is obviously what you should be expecting, um, you know, box wise. And what we're going to do is we're going to obviously open it up and get a better idea of what to be expecting. And then we're also going to demonstrate it on a pistol. So this way we have a better idea of um how it actually works so give me one second here and i'm going to grab the box so this is the whole entire unit itself um i did already slit open i have not technically take the cotton continents out so um we will uh take a look at that sorry i meant to say contents not continents um so inside here, what we do have is seems to be your warranty card. Um, I guess you get like an extra goodie maybe from it. So this seems to be an extra little uh, pin. I'm guessing that's to possibly um, unlock it or use it in some way. We'll obviously go through that in a little bit. This is actually probably, yeah, this is the guide. So this will teach you a little bit more about it. But this is what we're aiming for right here. So um if we take this out which i'm not really too sure what this component is okay so this seems to be possibly this maybe the flat uh part of the stand or I, you know we're gonna find this out we're going to get through this together and we're gonna figure it out so we're, we're just putting everything to the side for a second so inside here we do have keys the keys seem to fold in and out so that's pretty cool. So they give you two of them. And then in here, we do have a bunch of screws, um, you know, some tools. And I guess that you can actually screw this in um, somewhere safe for yourself. So that's cool too. We do have a wire here. So I'm not really too sure what that's for. Maybe the locking mechanism is probably electronic. So we will be figuring that out. So I'm going to actually just put that down for a second. And I heard a beep, I know I clicked something. Okay, so here we go. This is the locking device itself. Um, so we will figure this out. I don't know, really know why it's beeping at me right now. And we do have the um, a fingerprint scanner right here. We obviously have the key. So we will be figuring this out. And on the side here, we do have a reset and an add button. So that's probably where the pin actually goes. If you see there, that's actually possibly where you're going to be putting the pin in to reset it and add. And we will figure that. So every time, yeah. So it's not um, having put any uh, type of fingerprint in here. So that's probably why it's giving me that. And then you have your pin code, so you can possibly put a actual um, pin um, in and a password, whatever you want to call it, and then it'll work. So we will be going over that. And then lastly, we do have one other part here. So let's take that out. This seems to be like a wall mount. This seems to be if you want to put it on your wall, maybe on the floor. We're Like I said, we're going to figure this out piece by piece and uh, get a better idea of what each piece is and what it does. So uh, stay tuned for the next part while I try to uh, either A, assemble this or get a better idea of how it's all uh, put together. And we will be back. All right, so um, we're back. Um, like I said before, I was either going to go piece by piece, really, just or to go over everything, or I was just going to kind of put it together. I actually kind of put it together. It's really straightforward. Um, we're just going to get right into it on how this is all done, and then we're going to get into the actual uh, trigger uh, locking mechanism. So taking this off, just to show you real quick, there is this little puzzle piece looking portion. Um, that goes right into the slot. So that's how it kind of floats the gun. Um, so stands pretty cool. You know, it's all metal. Nothing really plasticky on here. Um, 
you know, if you want to have it as a flat stand, you can have it like that. If you want to have it on the wall, you can. You can just put it inside these little uh, holes. You're going to need a drill bit to obviously screw it into the wall, but um, that's for uh, yourselves or whatever you really want to do. Or if you want to have it upside down, you can still do that too. Um, Instead of the manual, you can have it upside down as well. Um, I would really like it more as a display, kind of like this. Um, just for myself, I would rather have it next to, you know, myself, uh, my nightstand, or, you know, if you have a man cave, you want to display it better, you can have it like that too. So that's a cool add on they definitely give to you. And putting this together was really simple. It was just this flat piece, this portion goes on here, you put these two screws in, and that's it, you're done. Uh, nothing really crazy with that. So with the locking portion, and as you can see, it's really on there, like, it's not going anywhere. Sorry, I hit a button. So we're just going to unlock it and we're just gonna get right into it. So if we just click that, it pops right off. Put that to the side. So we will take this key out. And as you can see, um, the inside here is made of rubber. Um, I do enjoy that. I was worried that this might be plastic or metal as well, um, that it would actually smack into um, the gun's body and scratch it up and break maybe the plastic a bit. Um, no, no issues there at all. I actually am happy with this. Um, as you can see, you have the whole entire lock um, portion here, and then you have the uh, locking pins too. So that's nice that they have that as well. Um, just for this one, just the back bit's realistically just a logo. Like I said, we have that little puzzle piece looking portion that just goes right into the stand to make it float. Um, now this trigger uh, does not just, you know, this trigger lock doesn't just work for a pistol. You can do it on um, rifles themselves. Uh, could you do it on this stand? I, I really doubt it. I really think this is more meant for a pistol type of display, but um, I have tested this on AR-15 um, and AK-47 uh, to lock it up. It did fine. So no issues there at all. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lock it up just to give you guys an idea real quick. So I'm going to put it like that. Not going anywhere. It's not unlocking. You really would have to, I mean, break the living hell out of this to get this off. Uh, so cool design. Really nice there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just open this up. And then we're going to get right into the password stuff. So manufacturing starts off with their normal password. So it's just one, two, three, four, one. Um, Should have actually just worked. Ah, I know what I did wrong here. Hold one second. Um, I totally forgot I was playing with this and I actually um, <laughs> put my own stuff in. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go over everything. So what I'm just going to do real quick is I'm going to manufacturally reset this. Uh, it's pretty easy. So if I just put in, so I already have the, the password and the fingerprint already in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset it. So one, two, three. So I reset it. So that's how you reset it, actually. So what you do is you'll put in your password code and then you'll hit the reset button three times. But we're going to go over by what it is set, you know, coming out of the box. So it locked up. So the normal password would be one, two, three, four, one. That unlocked it. That's the normal password it comes with. Now to add a new password, what you're going to be doing is clicking the add button. Click add. You'll see this. Uh, rotating colored light happen um, you'll put in your own password so we're going to do a backwards password so four three two one four then what we'll do is we will hit the reset button and we'll put that password in one more time so four three two one four and then you do reset one more time so click the reset and now that is locked into the actual unit itself um, so let's just give that a shot and see if it worked out so four, three, two, one, four, and it worked. Now let's say we want to add a fingerprint. So that's easy to, so what you'll be doing is clicking the, um, remember, hold one second. It is yes, the add. So we click add. Now it's doing this flashing. So what you do is you put your finger on there. You go one, two, three, four. Now it remembers your fingerprint. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test that with a different finger. So we got my other thumb here. Doesn't work. If I put my fingerprint, works perfect. So um, it's pretty easy as that. There's really no other complicated steps to it. You know, it's just really hitting those little pinholes and reset add type of portions. But 
Um, now I have a password up here of my own choosing. I have my fingerprint. Um, and again, if you forget or something goes wrong, you do have the uh, key lock to unlock it as well. So that's pretty easy. And then also if you want to uh, mute it, you can do that. So what you do is you go on the bottom here, you hold down this for three seconds. And then you hear that beep. And then now if I go four, three, two, one, four, um, no beeping happened. So now it's mute. Um, so pretty straightforward, really easy. Um, I like the device. You know, this is a cool, you know, futuristic trigger lock. Um, definitely enjoy this type of technology a lot more. Uh, makes me feel a little bit more secure, and I feel like I can get to uh, my gun a lot quicker. So, guys, um, this is the Aniro um, trigger lock. I hope I gave you guys an idea of you know what to expect out of the box. What does it look like on it? You know, what's its full capabilities? What can you do? How do you add a password? You know, fingerprint, all that fun stuff. Um, this is everything to it. So, um, again. Uh, I hope I helped you guys and, uh, you know, please subscribe. It does help me, obviously. Um, and uh, have a great day.